So basically, no matter what happens, you're screwed. I mean, remember how hard Heat Man was to dodge in uh, Mega Man 2? Guess how much harder it is when the screen is half the size. And he's just as big. So you have to hope he doesn't shoot very far out. Yeah, hope he just does small shots like that. Because if he does a big shot like that, you could see. No way to dodge that one. And if he immediately does a dash right after doing a shot, you've got no time to dodge that one, my friend. Yep. And of course, he's not weak to anything. It would make sense if, say, you could use Fireman. I mean, not Fireman. Using Fireman's weapon would make no sense whatsoever. It makes sense if Iceman's weapon could come in handy here. But no! Iceman's weapon doesn't work because he's a Mega Man 2 boss, and we got the weapon from the Mega Man 1 boss. That's Isn't that convenient to make this game even more impossible? But hey, I'm doing kind of well. And now that I've said I'm doing well, I will immediately be screwed over by the game. Fun fact, they, they implemented a microphone in the Mega Man game, so whenever you say something like, Oh, I'm doing great! I could win this one, the game immediately starts cheating in order to make sure that you will lose, and make you look like an idiot. Little known fact! But yes, that is definitely the case. Ah! Ah! some sort of way to predict when he's going to do that uh, little dash thing two seconds after throwing out fire. Because I get no time to prepare. Like that. Hmm. Not nice. Not nice at all. Well, in any case, I can predict this video is going to be nothing but me losing to a uh, heat man. Again and again and again. Why didn't they make it so he was weak to Iceman's weapon? Why didn't they think about that? Why is that not the case? Of all the things that would make sense and be nice for me... Aw, oh, man. Ah! Lame. delayed his speed jump right over there. You guys all saw that one. He delayed it just to screw me over. This game does not like me. It doesn't like me one little bit. Okay, I think I figured out the trick to beating Heat Man. 
Remember earlier how I was complaining that he uh, was dashing unexpectedly and hitting me when I didn't think he was? Turns out he has, uh, he doesn't dash on his own. All he does is shoot those little fire things at you. The only time he'll dash is when he gets hit, like that. After he gets hit, he'll dash at you. He's never going to dash on his own, he only dashes in retaliation to being hit. You can use this information to control when he's going to dash and where he'll be at the end of his dash. This will slightly make the boss battle easier. Very slightly. Whoops. So there you go, as you can see. Now that I have the power to control when he dashes, by uh, when I hit him... Ah! I can hopefully avoid situations like the one I was just in. Hey, what happened to the health upgrade? What? Oh, well, that's crap. Well, in any case, at least I get his weapon. Atomic Fire. Yeah. And Atomic Fire helps me defeat, uh, which one of these Mega Man 2 bosses does it help me? Um, um, not sure. Okay, so I went and checked, and apparently this guy, Quick Man, I believe, and he's the weakest to the Heat, heat Man weapon. Which sadly is not saying very much. So close to defeating him, though, you'll notice. Now, those of you with quick reflexes will be able to charge your uh, heat weapon very high, like that, so it takes away half his life. Unfortunately, I don't have quick reflexes. That's about the extent of how well I can fight him with my heat weapon. So, that's my strategy, is get off the first hit with the... Uh, charging the shot, and then just attack him like mad, and hopefully that will defeat him and gain you his weapon, which is the Quick Boomerang. Great. And I think this is going to be uh, useful against our boy, Bubble Man. Even if it's not too useful against him, which it is, at least this weapon, it takes up a lot of usage before it gets destroyed, man. Aw, oh, man, he hit me from behind, and I was just one hit away from destroying him, too. That stinks. Well, I'll get him this time. Now, Cutman's weapon also works against him, but nowhere near as well. Actually, Cutman's wor weapon works very poorly against him. Which, I guess it's nice that they tried to make Cutman's weapon a little bit useful, but it's completely overshadowed by the fact that the Quick Boomerang is the attack that you want to use. So, uh... I don't know. I guess overall, lame. And I got the bubble lead, which helps me defeat... Doesn't it help me defeat Iceman? Yes. Oh, hey! Yeah, it helps. It works somewhat well against this guy. 
Flashman or whatever his name is, right? I can't tell. There are uh, a couple of enemies in the Mega Man series that have the uh, I can stop time maneuver, including Pharaoh Man. 